at the in call. This call is now being recorded. We also have the record of which will be available after the meeting. So as the meeting carries on, will be on record. And for those who wish to have the record, will be sent to them through the emails. So you will also be opted to leave your email at the in-call messages. Welcome new members. I see that we are 13 members, 14 members. Um, the number is still uh, increasing. You are all welcomed. I've seen Mr. Mr. Maduhu. Just okay. Doing... Welcome, Mr. Maduhu. We are about one minute to start our meeting. Welcome very much. Uh, for the new members, please, would you write your email, but also your nationality at the in-call messages. just like the one that will be appearing there, Gilbert, Tanzanian. So as you join, please write your nationality at the in-call messages and also your email. So as you will be sent the record of the meeting through the email. Sarah? Yes. Would you share your screen? Somebody else was trying to interfere. I think it was uh, unnecessary interference. Thank you. Okay, so it's uh, five minutes past 11, and we actually wish to start this nutrition and dietetics career talk. Currently, we have our guests who have joined, the ones who were invited, and we have the Nutrition Connect Tanzania members, uh, that's uh, Madam Jacqueline Kawiche, but also we have uh, Mr. Madu Mashini from Moembele National Hospital as a clinical dietitian. He is also in the meeting right now, but I'm not very sure with the presence of Dr. Leonard Katarambula at the moment. If he joins, then we'll have, uh, we will have, uh, we will present him. But also, you have to know that as you get into the meeting, please, you write your nationality and your email at the in-call messages unit. You'll be with the host, Gilbert Gaston Charles and Sarah Makweba for the main time. Well, as the slide displays, welcome to Nutrition and Dietetics Career Talk. It is a uh, honor to welcome you to this Nutrition and Dietetics Career Talk because currently, can you please uh, move to the next slide, Sarah? Mm -hmm. Because currently, the world has awakened and there is so many concerns on nutritional masters such as uh, prevention of diseases and disorders both the communicable and the non-communicable uh, diseases, the maintenance of health, management uh, of medical conditions, treatment of nutritional diagnosis uh, on the matters of fitness and wellness, but also on food laws and policies, product development in the industries, on the research part, and also on training and so many other matters in which nutrition and dietetics or dietetics itself is a big part within. Kwa hiyo, mpaka sasa naona tumejoin wa Tanzania peke yake. Na tujaibu kusema ni kwamba swala la alishe limekuwa ni sehemu muhimu sana kwa vipengele vingi sana 
hasa kwa hii nchi yetu kwa sasa na ukiangalia katika dunia ambayo inaenda kasi kwa sasa mm, katika vipengele vya afya ya, mazoezi utafiti elimu na sehemu zingine nyingi sana ndisha imekuwa ni sehemu ya muhimu sana ya kuzingatia ukilinganisha na miaka ya zamani kwa hiyo kama ambavyo tu lishe imekuwa ni ya muhimu sana kwa kipindi hiki basi mtu yoyote yule ambaye anatamani kufahamu juu ya lishe mtu yoyote yule ambaye yupo katika sekta ya lishe inabidi pia aweze kufahamu juhudi ambazo zimefanyika kutokea mwanzo mpaka kufikia sasa na ni opportunity gani zilizopo katika uwanja mzima wa lishe uwanja mzima wa nutrition please can you move to the next slide katika uh, the nutrition and dietetics career talk we have several goals for the talk and these goals will be leading us uh, in the whole nutrition and dietetics career talk as for everybody who will be in here before i go on for the for the goals of the talk please would everybody know that we are in the nutrition and dietetics career talk and as you get in the new members please write your name and nationality in the write your name and nationality in the in call messages unit you write your name your nationality but also your email so as you can have the record sent to you for this meeting well the goals for the talk the first one is having a wider understanding on the efforts done on nutrition field in Tanzania so far since independence till now there have been done several efforts to address nutritional matters to solve several problems uh, that are associated with nutrition the health issues associated with nutrition so many efforts have been done and these will hear them from our experts especially the guests of Pana from Mwembele National Hospital but also from connect uh, nutritionist connect Tanzania and from uh, the research masters but also we have the Tanzania nutrition and dietetics uh, association members of whom will also help us to know all the efforts that have been done in Tanzania uh, on the matter of nutrition the second goal is creating awareness and motivation to the raising group uh, youth group of nutrition experts in different fields as i know we have several courses on nutrition that are being offered in our country in the open university but also in the sokoina university of agriculture as well as in university of dodoma and some other more educational institutes nutrition has been one of the courses that is being offered in different fields so as the goal of this talk we'll all know the uh, we'll all have the awareness on this matter because some of the people have been on the nutrition field but are not yet motivated and they have no awareness on what is going on kwa hiyo hii nutrition and dietetics career talk itatusaidia sana kwa siku ya leo can i have the next slide Well, the other goal is reviewing the opportunities available in the nutrition field. There are so many opportunities. You may have seen one or you may have not yet seen any. Kwa hiyo leo kwa sababu we have uh, wageni ambao ni experts on nutrition matters. Then wataweza kutuambia the opportunities available, but also for anybody ambaye atakuwa na uh, opportunity ambaye anaifahamu on nutrition matters then ataweza ku, ku, ku raise out the opportunity so that other people may know what the opportunity on nutrition and dietetics field but also we'll hear the views and recommendations of the students as well as from the experts as the students ni watu ambao wana they, they are the coming experts wa baadaye and very soon kwa hiyo you may have recommendations na hapa tunao watu wenye organizations like uh, madam Jacqueline Kawiche from Nutrition Connect Tanzania we have members from Tanzania Nutrition and Dietetics Association but also we have lecturers in here and we have uh, the employed members the registered dietitians inside this meeting 
Kwa hiyo our views will be heard and that's the thing ambacho we should no, not worry about. Can I have the next slide? So lastly, I would like to say that you are welcomed with Hannah to the nutrition and dietetics career talk. So you will be with Gilbert Gaston Charles, but also with Sarah Makweba. Welcome, Sarah, for the next session. Thank you so much, Mr. Gilbert Gaston. Uh, my name is Sarah Makweba from Sokoina University, taking my bachelor's degree in human nutrition. I believe that we can all hear properly. Uh, I would like to say gratitude to everyone who has been able to join in this session today. And without further ado, I will welcome our special guests that have already joined and the rest of people joining as time goes on. There is Mr. Maduhu Machine, dietitian from Mwimbili Hospital. And there is our fellow nutritionist, Connect Director and CEO of Nutritionist Connect Institution, Madam Jacqueline Kawiche. You are mostly welcome. We also expect to have Dr. Leonard Katalambula Head of Department of Public Health in the University of Dodoma, UDOM, and also the board chairperson of Action Against Hunger. Okay, we will begin our first session whereby we will have biography session. We are going to hear from our special guests on different things that they have encountered in their life from their time that they graduated from the university, what career path that they chose and the ways that they went through until they reached where they are today. There are several questions that they will be asked to them. It will be an open discussion that they will talk and air out their views. I would like to welcome Mr. Maduhu Machine. Mr. Madu Machine, are yes. you around? Yes, I'm around. Yes. Good morning, sir, Mr. Madu Machine. We can use both languages, so Good morning. and English. Okay, sir. Um, Hello. We are going to have this biography session with you tonight, today. And there are several questions. May you please introduce yourself to the members that are around? Hello. Hello. Yes, we can yes. hear you. Yes, we can hear you, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I hope I can get to me and look at the building. Yes, of course. From a dinner, Naito, a maroon machine. If they are teaching you a mobile hospital, come never seen a bamba, Bamba, Yango, Nili, and Supandawa, Elimiango. Ilianza Sua, a fumbili, and a community, come as a fumbili, Kumna Tatu, some undergraduates. Yeah, Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, the first batch. But I'm going to say, from the community, to come two years. I come with you and come with you, attached to someone else, for a Kazi, the Hapana Pale, a Kini Batinzuri, Nikapata Kazi, Israel, and Roya Jami, and from the community, Serikali ni lakini ni 
So baada ya kupita 2006 mwezi wa kwanza nikapata ajira mwingine. So I was interested kufanya kazi hospitalini kwa sababu ya ndoto zangu kwamba nilikuwa nimefanya nikae hospitalini kuhudumia wagonjwa. Hapo initially kipindi niko ya level intention yangu ilikuwa ni kusomea udaktari. Lakini sikuweza kupata hiyo chance unfortunately nikapata hiyo chance ya kusoma nutrition sokoini aita nikaajiliwa hiyo 2016 mpaka sasa nipo muhimbili lakini baada ya kuendelea na majukumu ya kazi kama nutritionist katika hospitali ya taifa nilipata changamoto nyingi changamoto moja wapo zilizokuwepo ni za kuhusu taruma uelewa wa wafanyakazi wenzangu kuhusu masuala ya lishe kwamba unahitaji hospitalini hapa unafanya vitu gani kazi hiyo kwa inaashuka baraba mimi mtu akukaa jikoni tunakutoa ushauri kwamba leo tunatakiwa tupike nini so hizo changamoto nilizipata kwa kariya zingine nurses doctors pharmacist na wengine pia pia hata mgonjwa mwenyewe wakati mwingine unashindwa kumshauri kwa sababu package haikuwa ya kutosha kwa upande wangu upande wa medical nutrition kwa sababu kipindi niko nilikuwa nafanya freely ni kama wiki tano sita hivi kwa freely kwenye hospital attachment uwezo kupata taarifa za kutosha ukiwa freely so hiyo 2016 2017 mpaka 2020 ilikuwa na apply scholarship nje ile siku siku tamani kurudi swa tena kwa sababu kulingana na nature ya kazi yangu sasa ilikuwa ni hectic ndio kwamba nikirudi sasa all things i need kwa nahitaji upande wa medical nutrition kwa ina itoshi pharmaceutical nutrition kwa ina haipo so nikawa niko na, na changamoto nyingi sana upande wa sehemu ya kazi yangu nika apply scholarship ya commonwealth ya 2020 nikapata lakini ni apply more than 20 scholarship sababu so, was aggressive ili niweze kuweza kupata hii hii knowledge so nikapata hiyo common scholarship kwa masters ya clinical nutrition katika chuo cha University of Aberdeen huko UK so nikaanza masomo yangu 2020 mpaka 2022 ndio nika graduate masters ya clinical nutrition so far kwa kweli nilipomaliza mpaka sasa hivi i'm so happy kwa sababu i'm confident naweza nika deliver kitu ambacho nakijua initially sikuweza ku deliver kitu kwa sababu package haikuwa ya kutosha na mimi so nilikuwa na dreams zangu mpaka sasa hivi zipo kufanya vitu vikubwa lakini mpaka sasa hivi najiona kama hata nyinyi mnaosoma nutrition mko kwenye right place na i hope sasa hivi globally kwamba changamoto ni za nutrition nutrition same yoyote ni nutrition hata wewe daktari sasa hivi anatamani kusoma nutrition kwa hata nyinyi ambao mnasoma nutrition sasa hivi au dietetic mko kwenye position ambayo ni nzuri zaidi. Kwa hiyo mpaka sasa hivi kitu ambacho nakiona sa kwa upande wa wa field yetu upande wa nchini kwetu. Jamii jinsi inavyotupokea sasa. Kwamba jamii inatupokeaje kuhusu hii field yetu? Na jamii ni moja hapo wateja wetu wagonjwa na ni professional kuhusu hii field yetu na professional wenzetu kama sisi wenyewe kwa kweli ni hectic bado ambao mimi ninavyoiona tangu nimemaliza masters na nikikompare na kipindi kilicho kwa undergraduate perception bado ilikuwa na kama masi watu wa nutrition ni wale wa kutoa counseling tu kwamba mle hiki mle hiki mle hiki but we don't go deeply kwamba anatakiwa hii kunapokula what will happen in the body hicho kitu tulikuwa bado hatujapata vizuri kwa sababu tulikuwa tuna guideline kwa sasa hivi SOP unaikaa kwenye field kuna vitendea kazi hiyo ni changamoto ambayo tu bado ina to face lakini ku, ku capture kama nutrition is pia tulikuwa ina ile confident ya ku deliver material kwa mbogesema tu package ya ya, ya undergraduate kama huna info tu wewe mwenyewe binafsi kusoma vitabu au kusoma kwenye google kutoa kupata taarifa sehemu sahihi zingine ili uweze kutoa elimu iliyo sahihi kwa mhitaji na kuelewe nini unachokifanya ilikuwa bado ni changamoto mpaka sasa hivi pia kingine ambacho gap ambapo pia lipo 
pia hata sisi wenyewe tu hawa nutrition. Unaweza kwa mkaenda sehemu kwa fulani kapewa ushauri wa afisarishe akaenda mtu sehemu hospitali nyingine kapewa ushauri kunakuwa ni tofauti kwa sababu hatuna ile guidance yoyote ambayo inaturidi wote. Kwa tunaongea lugha moja. Hiyo ni changamoto. Tofauti na wenzetu nurses, doctors wanaongea lugha moja. Changamoto ya sisi hatuongei lugha moja hiyo ndio field yetu ambayo ni challenge pia hiyo inapelekea sasa hata wateja wetu tunawapoteza kwa sababu hatuongei lugha moja mpaka sasa hivi. Kingine ambacho nilichokiona upande wa sisi kama sisi wataalamu wa lishe asilimia kubwa hatujiamini nini tunachokifanya. Na wewe ukarima wewe sasa unachokitoa je ni sahihi au sio sahihi? wengi wetu hawajiamini afu kingine ni inferiority complex ya 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 nutritionist hiyo inferiority complex most of them wanayo na hiyo echo wanayo wengine hawapendi kushare information hiyo ndio changamoto lakini we need to be in the same place ili tuweze kushare information ambayo ni sahihi na kuleta taarifa kwa wateja wetu watuamini nini tunachokitoa lazima kiwe na majibu ambayo ni positive kwa idadi ya nutrition is na dietitian kwa taifa letu bado upande wa dietitian ni wachache sana ndani kama wanapata 10 mostly ni wale nutritionists ambao tumesoma sua kwa upgrade sababu unapokuwa nasema kwamba dietitian ni yule ambaye anakuwa registered in the in the council au kuna board ya nchi ambayo inakuwa registered kwa hawa doctor nutritionists wanakuwa na registered na dietitian anakuwa na hizo ethics code kwa kupitia kama ungekuwa kama tuna bodi ya kwetu kama tunapoanzia na ile hapo hiyo TNDA hiyo kama bodi yetu sasa au ni society yetu au ni association yetu inakuwa ina register hao wataalamu wanapomaliza shule waweze kupewa license ya kuweza kufanya kazi kwenye jamii yetu hata kitokea mistake yanakuwa answer ambapo kutakuwa na kanuni na taratibu za kumdidi huyu mtu ili kuangalia ile quality ya service anayoiofa kwenye jamii challenge ambazo tunazipata sehemu za kazi kama wataalamu wa lishe ni kama nilivyoeleza initially nutritional knowledge bado iko chini kwa madaktari kwa nurses hata kwenye community tu sisi wenyewe japokuwa kwamba TFNC wako muda mrefu kwenye field lakini bado ile connect co connection bado haijakaa sawa kwa nutritionist siku tu blacks wote kuwa pamoja na kuongea lugha moja ambayo ni sahihi hiyo bado si mimi bado naona kama kuna challenge hapo kama sisi. Lakini tungekuwa tunaongea lugha moja na kupeana taarifa sahihi kwa wakati na pia sahihi zipi ambazo zinatolewa hizo information. Kingine ambacho nakiona kwamba ambacho tunapata changamoto kwenye field yetu vitendea kazi still yet ni ndogo kwa sababu tunapofundishwa vioni nisho wanazozifundisha sasa kwa mpaka mimi nikifanya reflection ilipotoka kwa undergraduate na mazingira ya kazi ambayo nayo postiwa sasa unapoenda kuajiriwa bado ni changamoto hakuna linki nzuri kwamba umenipa field nimekuja kufanya nje wiki tano ile package sijalipata ya kutosha pale hospitalini pia vitu vingine naenda kujifunza pale pale napoenda kujifunza pia ni changamoto pia ambayo nakuwa na under estimated kwa service nayo i offer pale kwa tukiokuwa na link nzuri wao stakeholders na wale kwamba wanapotuzalisha sasa pale chuoni wanatupa link nzuri na stakeholders kwamba tunakaa nao muda gani tuna explore vitu gani ambavyo vilikuwa kwenye field yetu ambao ni kwenye daily life it was to benefit hiyo bado haijakaa vizuri kwamba kupa kutupa link ya wao stakeholders kwamba sio tu hospitali na hata hizo nani government organization vitu gani ambavyo tunavyo practice vina reflect kile tulichopewa chuoni je kuna sustainability ya hivyo vitu kwa kwa kweli mimi naona kama bado kwa kweli hamna link ambayo ni friendly kuja kupata employment ambayo iko direct tofauti na nje nje wanyewe wanapokifanya makampuni au hospital au nani government organization zinakuwa na link na ile program inayokuwa offered in the university kwamba tunatengeneza program hii wanafunzi wetu wataenda kufanya kazi hizi 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 haya maeneo na hayo maeneo sasa ambayo ni stakeholders watakuwa linked na wanafunzi all of the time wanapokuwa mwaka wa mwisho sasa na hayo makampuni yanakuja sasa kwenye hao undergraduate wengine wanapata na ajira pale pale moja kwa moja 
tofauti na sisi hapo na malizo naanza kuhasa mwenyewe tukutafuta kazi kazi ambayo ni hectic una experience una hata hela ya mfukoni ya kupanda hata nauli tu kwenda kufanya interview ambao ni changamoto hiyo ila kwa upande wa nadhani upande wa nutritionist lakini kwa upande wa dietitian wana usoma you do they have a room wao kama wanaofanya hizo feed for a long time ukuta 8 weeks 8 weeks unajifunza vitu vingi na wana sehemu nyingi za kwenda we compare na wanafunzi ambao tuliotoka sokoini kwa sokoini we have a chance ya kuweza kuongea na walimu wetu kuweka sawa lazima tuendane na teknolojia inayosema na maisha yame change so tubaki na zile ideology za zamani we need to change first na tuwe na board tuwe na pale just a decent nutritionist or dietitian tuwe hiyo hicho kitu kitakuwa kinatuliki kutupa any relevant information opportunities tuweze ku overcome this challenge kwa sababu wengi tumetoka kwenye family ambazo ni duni sio kwamba tuna knowledge kuhusu hivyo vitu kupata taarifa kwa wakati this is better nyie naona kama mnafanya hizi conference unapata taarifa ambazo ni sahihi kwa unapopata taarifa sahihi utilize it opportunity ambazo unaziona mimi kwa field yetu sasa kama nutritionist au dietitian ni zipo nyingi sasa hivi kwa sababu kila sehemu sasa hivi unapopita nutrition 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 na nutrition just we, we focus kwenye health and the well-being na well-being asilimia kubwa kinachoanza ni ni lishe lishe ni vitu vina vitu vingi kama majuzi wazira ilikuwa na sita mambo ya ya kiribatumbo utapia mlo kwa watoto ni issue ambayo iko kwenye field yetu kwa hiyo sisi wenyewe kama sisi tukijiweka vizuri nadhani hiyo ni opportunity kwetu ya kupata employment au ya kucreate employment kwa kwa wanafunzi wetu na wale ambao wameshamaliza kingine tuwe na na hizi nutrition inter, entrepreneurship kama anapofanya dada huyu anaposema nutrition connection anafanya kutengeneza hizo product kutoa safe za nutritional counseling kwa sababu kuna gap kwa bado kwa Tanzania hatujawa na nutrition information ambazo ni relevant hatuna research oriented paper kupata au journals ambazo tunapata taarifa hizi hata hizi channel tunazo learn hizi tumekuwa tuna learn channel za nutrition labda ingekuwa ni better zaidi au tumekuwa na magazine ambayo yanaonyesha hizo taarifa za nutrition ambazo wameandaa wataalamu wenyewe kabisa hizi za board ambayo inaandaa kwa kutoa hizo taarifa za kutosha kingine opportunity ambayo naiona ambayo iko open ili kabisa kwa hata ukiwa mwanafunzi hata wewe mwaka wa pili wa tatu unaweza kuanzisha sasa hivi hizo 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 social media ukao unatoa taarifa za nutrition kwa elimisha you can any as in your tiktok au kwenye insta unaweza kuwa na channel yako kwenye youtube fungua channel kwa sababu ulichofundishwa sasa hivi unacho cha kutosha ambacho kidogo unaweza ukawa unakiendeleza kija kumaliza utakuwa unapata muda sasa wa kuendeleza hicho kitu chako ambacho ni kizuri zaidi hicho kinalipa pia vizuri tu pia unaweza kuwa na online consultation unaweza kwa sababu kama sasa hivi Tanzania imeshaanzisha kwamba any dialysis kwamba center ukinapoanzisha lazima uwe na nutritionist au uwe na chief cha nutritionist uweze kuanzisha tu dialysis center without nutritionist kwa hiyo pia hiyo ni opportunity kwetu na sasa hivi kila hospitali zimeshaamuliwa kwamba kila level of hospital ziwe na dialysis machine za kuweza kufanya hizo hemodialysis kwa hiyo lazima wanapofungua hizo tunahitaji nutritionist kwa hiyo ni opportunity moja kwa ya kupata employment kwa hicho kitu lakini ilianzishwa hiyo sheria ilitungwa kama 2000 na na 18. Kwa mfano unapoanzisha dialysis lazima kuwepo na nutritionist au dietitian waweza kuwaona wale wagonjwa. Kwa hiyo so have a room ya kupata ajira kwa hicho kitu pingine scholarship. Unapomaliza chuo usikae tu unasubiria ajira. Pambana kwa apply scholarship. Scholarship zipo nyingi ila wa Tanzania ni wavivu kwa apply ni wavivu kutafuta information kwa wakati wengi tu ni selfish asilimia kubwa. Kwa hiyo tuwe na room ya kuwa tu unamsaidia mtu unapoona kwamba kuna chance. Tuwe aggressive kama wa Kenya, kama wa Nigeria, South Africa. Kwa watu ni aggressive kutafuta opportunity. So kama mimi nimepata opportunity then na stick nayo sasa. Natoka opportunity mtu ana hold ana hold ana hold. Maisha hayako hivyo. Kwa hiyo tushe information na kupata hizo taarifa opportunity hata nje unaweza ka apply hata kazi nje unaweza ukapata lakini hatujawa registered sasa tunatakiwa tuwe na bodi ya kwetu au council ambayo itakuwa ina register na kutoa license kwa 
wanafunzi wanaomaliza vyo sasa na ambao tuko makazini tuwe na ruga moja ambayo itakuwa inaturidi wote nadhani kwa upande wao mimi nimemaliza upande wa biography yangu tu kama kutakuwa na maswali karibuni sana ila niwape hongela ambao umesoma nutrition na wengine mnaosoma mko kwenye level nzuri na mko kwenye track ambayo kweli kila sehemu inahitaji hakuna sehemu inayo missing nutrition tofauti na zamani unakuwa mtu anatisha na maliza sokoini unaanza kufanya kazi bank anza kufanya kazi za 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 kilimo unajua kama afisa kilimo so was hectic lakini nao tunajitahidi ku change kama sasa hivi kuna progress inayoendelea kutengeneza hizo guideline in the medical nutrition so tutakuwa nazo hizo soon lakini pia tutapush tutengeneze hiyo food composition table kwa ajili ya kuweza ku quantify hizo nutrients tunapofanya nutritional counseling and education kwa wateja wetu Nona ni shia hapo kama kuna kuwa na kwele tutaendelea kushia lakini cha kusisitiza tu kwa upande wangu tuwe na board. Board ambayo itakuwa ina ensure sasa provision ya relevant and rapidly changes globally. Kuwe na license na registration. Tuwe na jinsi ya kwa hiyo board iwe na relevant ya kwa identify stakeholders kwetu. Wale wanao kwa employed na wale wanafunzi na wale wanaoenda kwenye field au kwenye kwenye food practice pia hiyo body inatoa exactly skills knowledge na ku upgrade au kutoa CPD kwa wagonjwa sasa wanaoendelea kama wanafunzi pia tuwe na database yetu ya body hiyo ili tuweze ku, ku, ku utilize information ambazo ni global or is in Africa is in kwa Tanzania tuwe na research pia tu invest kwenye technology and the media for amplifying and the visibility to influence the, our career. Kingine tuwe na career marketing. Career marketing ni pipe kwamba board inapoanzisha sasa kutakuwa kwa lazima kutakuwa kuna watu ambao ni champion tutaweza wote tukafanana. Champion wale kwamba tunaanza kubuni business ambazo ziko oriented in nutrition of it. Lazima tuwe na hiyo career marketing lakini board itakuwa ina to lead ili tuweze kuongea lugha moja na tuweze ku push mambo yetu na tuwe na na structure kwamba kwa kwenye kwenye kwenye, kwenye ministry kule lazima tuwe na watu wamesoma nutrition ambao kule watatoa ile ile background kwamba tunafanya nini sasa kwenye field yetu employment skills zinakuwaje pamoja na ile quality ya service tunazozipa asanteni sana okay asante okay. sana mr madugu machine tunafurahi sana kusikia umeongea mambo mengi sana hadi nimeishindwa kuliza maswali niliyokuwa nauliza lakini umeweza kutuelezea biography yako kiupana na pia tumeweza kusikia mambo mengi kwa maswali tutapokea maswali baada ya kumaliza session yetu ya pili basi sasa hivi nichukue wakati huu kuweza kumkaribisha madam Jacqueline Kawiche the founder and the director of Nutritionist Con- Nutrition Connect Tanzania Madam Jacqueline Kawiche Madam Jacqueline Madam Jacqueline Kawiche Madam Jacqueline No no she is not Madam Jacqueline Karibu Naomba uweze ku unmute video screen yako ili tuweze kukusikia Hello. Yes, tunakusikia. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you very well, Madam Jacqueline. You are welcome. Okay. 
Thank you so much. 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 Okay. I'll start by introducing myself. I'm Jacqueline Gabriel Nikawiche. I'm a nutritionist from Sokoine University. Lakini pia ni founder na director wa Nutrition Connect Tanzania. An organization that is focusing on promoting good nutrition and health lifestyle to fight against the, to fight against the triple burden of malnutrition in the country. So Nutrition Connect ipo hapa kwa ajili ya ku... Um, um ku, ku, kusaidia uchangu, kuweka mchango katika ku uh, complement zile government efforts and other partners so kwa kuanza tu mimi nilianza okay sawa so, sawa so. yes uh, chuo mwaka 2007 na kumaliza 2010 ya yeah, nilimaliza 2010 na, na baada ya kumaliza chuo ni wakati nilifika mwaka wa tatu uh, labda niseme tu wakati naanza first year nilikuwa na ha, nilikuwa na expectations kubwa sana ya jinsi ya kwenda kusaidia jamii lakini nilipofika mwaka wa tatu expectations zangu zikaanza kupungua nikawa na nimepata it's just like a fear yani nikapata hofu kubwa ya <coughs> Ni jinsi gani nitaenda ku apply ile elimu nilioipata uh, darasani nitaenda ku apply vipi Lakini nikawa na hofu kubwa je uh, kuna mifumo iliyokuepo inaniwezesha mimi kwenda ku, ku apply kile ambacho nimesoma na hofu hii ilitokana na kipindi kile wakati tumefika mwaka wa tatu na kumbuka kwa wale ambao wamesoma sua by then watakumbuka kwamba tulipofika mwaka wa tatu kuna zile field ambazo walikuwa mafano kama extension walisoma world life walisoma business utaona kwamba kulikuwa kuna makampuni yanakuja pale yanawachukua wanakuwa absorbed kwenye ajira lakini pia kuna wale ambao walikuwa wanachukuliwa kabisa na serikali wanaenda uh, kwenye ajira moja kwa moja so mimi hapa by then nikawa na hofu kubwa sana yani nilipata hofu kwamba <coughs> je mimi kama nutritionist Naweza kwenda ku apply kile ambacho nimekipata darasani. Lakini pia hofu yangu kubwa maana tulikuwa tuna wale wenzetu ambao walikuwa wamemaliza kipindi hicho. Kwa tulikuwa tunawasiliana nao. Sasa ukiwasiliana na nutritionist aliyomaliza anakuambia mimi ni afisa kilimo <coughs> au niko finka au niko benki sio kwenye yale maeneo ambayo wewe ulikuwa una nutritionist akimaliza anaenda kwenye <coughs> kwenye sasa chuo nikawa naendelea kuwa na hofu lakini pia nilipofika mtaani hali halisi ikawa ni tofauti na pia na kile nilichotegemea kwamba nutritionist ulikuwa ukisema umesoma nutrition jamii ilikuwa haikuelewi yani ulikuwa unaonekana kama vile ni cause yani umeenda kusoma miaka mitatu kupika tu mapishi lakini pia hata kipindi kile tu sisi tumemaliza 2010 ulikuwa ukitafuta ajira unapeleka unapeleka laba uh, ilikuwa ni uh, transcript unapeleka kwenye kampuni fulani wanasema hii ofisi sisi hatupiki so ilikuwa ni changamoto kubwa sana na hii ni kutokana na kwamba bado jamii ni haina uelewa kusiana na masuala ya lishe lakini pia uh, ilikuwa inatokana pia na system kulikuwa there was no um, kulikuwa hakuna ile system ambayo nutritionist akimaliza anakuwa absorbed moja kwa moja kwenye ajira. Kwa hiyo ile supportive system was not in place compared na wenzetu ambao walikuwa nasoma uh, zile field zingine. Kwa hiyo mimi kwangu ile ilikuwa kwanza ikawa ni hofu kubwa. Nikajihisi kama nimepoteza miaka mitatu lakini nikajihisi kama hii course niliyosomea it's better ningesoma labda world life ningesoma udaktari lakini Uh, siku kadi zilizokuwa zinaenda kwenye ile miaka ambayo sisi tumemaliza chuo changamoto kubwa ambayo nilikuwa nakutana nayo mimi hapo kipindi hicho ilikuwa ni hiyo kwamba bado watu waelewi kile ulichoenda kukisomea na kumbuka kuna siku nilichukua CV yangu nikaipeleka kwenye ofisi fulani kuomba kazi ilikuwa ni 2010 wakasema dada sisi hapa hatupiki 
so nikanishtua sana kwamba taasisi ta, kubwa kama hii yani wanaisi kama vile nutrition ni kupika tu peke yake lakini pia kwenye jamii ulikuwa hata bado kuongelea kuhusu lishe hakuna mtu anayekuelewa hata mtoto ukisema kama mtoto amepungukiwa labda madini fulani amepungukiwa damu au ana utapia mlo jamii haielewi kwa sababu jamii ilikuwa pia ina dhana yake tofauti so kwangu mimi hapa nilikuwa na hofu hofu kwa sababu there was no system in place ya kuniajiri mimi lakini pia nutrition by then was uh, not a priority kwenye um, kuanzia kwenye system ya serikali kwenye institution mbalimbali mbali, mpaka ukishuka chini kwenye kwenye jamii so mimi nikawa niko frustrated by then nikawa frustrated nikaona kama nimepoteza mwelekeo lakini tuna kama tunavyokumbuka kwamba by 2012 kulikuwa kuna ile sun movement pale ndo tukaanza kusikia baada ile sun movement serikali ilianza ku, uh, ku, kuwa mwanachama wa sun movement ndo tukaanza kuona kwamba hata serikali inachukulia swala la lishe katika hali ya, ya uzito pale ndo tukaanza kuona mwanga kwa mbali sana lakini pia mimi expectation yangu kubwa kipindi hicho ilikuwa ni kwamba nikitoka tu chuoni na kuwa absorbed either kwenye international organization nifanye kama nutritionist lakini I was expecting kwamba kama sio nutrition so in um uh, um uh, new, uh, new international organization basi serikali itaniajiri mimi kama kama nutritionist lakini uhalisia ulikuwa ni tofauti uh, ni kama nilivyosema kwamba by then nutrition Uh, swala la lishe lilikuwa sio kipaumbele kipindi kile hata swala la lishe huwezi kulikuta linaongelewa kwenye maeneo hata redio ukuti linazungumziwa sana ukienda kwenye mikutano huwezi kukuta ni ajira ukakuta ni taasisi chache sana zilikuwa zinatangaza nafasi za nutrition lakini au mara nyingi sana utakuta bado wametangaza project officer lakini wanaka component kadogo sana cha cha nutrition so kwa mimi by then nikawa so frustrated lakini pia zile expectation zangu by then zi hazikufua daf yani nikaona kama vile uh, nimepoteza so nikakaa chini baada ya kuona kuna ufinyu wa fursa ya kama nutritionist nikakaa chini nikaona sasa naweza kufanya nini sasa kwa hii uh, kwa huu ufinyu wa ajira kama nutritionist natakiwa kufanya nini kwa sababu nutrition kama nutrition mwanzoni nilikuwa naipenda lakini reality nilokutana nao kwenye community sicho ambacho nilichokuwa nategemea so ule ufinyu wa wa ajira uh, wa kama nutritionist ukanifanya mimi sasa kufkwenda extra mile nianze kujitafuta mimi kama Jack Kawichi ambaye nimesoma nutrition sua lakini kingine ambacho kilikuwa kipya kinanipa hofu kile nilichokisomea darasani sina confidence ya kutosha kama je hichi nitakachoenda kukielezea je jamii itakielewa ile confidence kwa kama dura amenielezea vizuri confidence kwamba nimesoma nina degree sawa lakini je nina hiyo confidence ya kusimama mimi kama mimi nikatetea nutrition so nikaanza kujitafuta nikaona sina hiyo confidence ya kutosha nikaamua sasa kwenda kuanzia kwenye ground chini kabisa nikaanza kujitolea na nikaenda kuomba kwenye shirika fulani walikuwa na, 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 na miradi ya watoto nikaenda kujitolea pale kuanzia kama volunteer nikaanza kujitolea pale lakini huku nikiendelea kusoma lakini pia kuendelea kufanya kutafuta ubunifu kwamba nutrition watu tajuaje kwamba nutrition ni muhimu kwa wakati najitafuta kipindi kile nasoma na nafanya na kama volunteer nikaja nikagundua kwamba kumbe kwenye kuvolunteer kule jamii kule kumbe uhitaji ni mkubwa sana lakini pia sio uhitaji tu matatizo yaliyoko kwenye jamii ni makubwa sana lakini pia uelewa wa watu bado ni mdogo sana yani sio jamii tu yani hata viongozi wa serikali walikuwa bado uelewa juu ya masuala ya lishe ulikuwa bado ni mdogo sana na kakamadu pale ametoa mfano utakumbuka kwamba kipindi kile sisi tulimaliza nyuma ukimpigia mtu simu anakwambia niwenda kuvolunteer kwenye hospitali lakini nimekuwa nimewekwa kama uh, kusimamia mambo ya CHF yani bima ya afya so wa, leo wanatoa huku leo wananipeleka huku ni kama wanasema kwamba hawaitambui hawakutambui kama nutritionist so mimi nikaanza kujitafuta na kuanza kujijengea uwezo lakini pia lile shirika nilipokuwa nafanya kazi ya kujitolea likaendelea kunijenga kidogo kidogo lakini mimi nikionyesha bidii so from there nikaenda sasa kwenye kufanya kuajiriwa kwenye taasisi nyingine ni kama project officer lakini pia nilikuwa nafanya issue zingine za nutrition na nikawa naonyesha kwamba nutrition ni muhimu so utakuta kwamba kuna vitu ambavyo nilianza kuvionyesha mfano nilianza kuunda vikundi yani kulikuwa hakuna vikundi vya lishe lakini kasema yani nisikie ni tu kwenye hii um, 
yeye dini ilopewa lakini niende extra mile nikaanza kutengeneza vikundi vya lishe kwenye community na vile vikundi na mpaka leo kwenye hiyo taasisi ni vikundi ambao wamescale up kwenye miradi mingine nikaanza kuonyesha vile vikundi na kuvijengea uwezo kuhusu lishe just from the scratch na kipindi hicho tukumbuke kwamba kulikuwa hakuna material yani uweze kusema kwa material haya yanafaa kwa ajili ya watu hawa kwa community, community hii mfano uelewa huu wanatakiwa wapewe elimu hii so mimi nikawa natafuta material unatafuta huku unayasama rais in, in a very simple language unatengeneza uh, kama kamodu kabogo unaapa jamii so tukaenda hivyo tukaenda hivyo lakini pia nilipokuwa nafanya kazi kwenye jamii nikaje nikagundua kwamba pamoja na efforts nyingi sana sasa tunaona kwamba um, elimu sasa ilikaja ikaongezeka tunaona kwamba nutritionist baada ile sun movement nutritionist wakaanza kuajiriwa mashirika yakaanza kuongezeka yanayohusiana na masuala ya lishe nikaona sasa kwamba kule nilipokuwa kwenye jamii bona pamoja na efforts nyingi ambazo serikali inafanya lakini pamoja na mashirika mbalimbali yanafanya kuhusiana na masuala ya lishe bado uhitaji kwenye jamii ni mkubwa sana kuliko tunavyotegemea so mimi hapo nika, nikapata wazo nikasema kwamba sasa nije na wazo la ku anzisha taasisi inayoitwa Nutrition Connect Tanzania. Na baada ya kupata sasa zile uh, experience, nilipata experience kutoka kwenye mashirika mbalimbali, mbali, nikaona kwamba kwa sababu mimi nilipata changamoto kubwa sana, naona kwamba nikianzisha kitu kama Nutrition Connect Tanzania, itanisaidia itutaisaidia ku complement government efforts lakini pia itakuwa ni opportunity kwa nutritionist wenzangu wanaotoka vioni wakaja kwenye uh, taasisi ile pale wakaji volunteer wakapata ujuzi wakitoka pale wanaenda wana sehemu ya, ku, ya kuanzia so mimi nilipofikia hiyo hatua nikaona sasa kuna haja kwamba ya kuanzisha taasisi kwa hiyo nikaanzisha taasisi inaitwa Nutrition Connect Tanzania na uh, Nutrition Connect Tanzania uh, kama taasisi uh, ime it exist to complement the government efforts na katika ku, ku ensure kwamba the public understand the triple burden of malnutrition kwamba tuko pale kwa ajili ya kwamba jamii iweze kuelewa the triple burden of malnutrition lakini elimu hata sahihi wa wananchi wa Tanzania ni ipi na nikaona kwamba taasisi hii nikianzisha sitafanya mimi kama jaki lakini nitashirikiana na kutakuwa kuna dietitians kutakuwa kuna nutritionist ambao wanatoka kwenye maeneo mbalimbali ambao tutafanya nao kazi kwa pamoja na kuona jinsi gani tunaweza kuisaidia jamii na taasisi nikawa ina three thematic area kwamba tutaangalia nutrition across life cycle kwa kuna wale ambao watakuwa wamejifunza issues za mama mjamzito mama nae nyonyesha issues za watoto under five lakini kuna issues za adolescent health and nutrition lakini sasa hivi tuna issue ya non communicable diseases kwa hiyo nikaona kwamba sasa hivi kwa sababu kuna matatizo mengi nitengeneze uwanja mpana wa nutritionist wengi zaidi kuja kupata opportunity ya sisi kushirikiana kwa pamoja either ni nutritionist dietitians tuka tukaje pamoja tukashirikiana na kuona jinsi gani sasa tunavyoweza kuisaidia jamii. Kwa hiyo ndio nikaanzisha taasisi hiyo inaitwa Nutrition Connect Tanzania na mpaka sasa tupo na tunashirikiana na uh, wanafunzi kutoka SUA na sasa hivi tunapata intern kutoka um, Open University sokoine kwa ajili wanakuja pale wanavolunteer na wakitoka pale wanaenda kwenye maeneo mengine. Lakini labda nisemee tu kwamba kwa wale wenzetu ambao sasa wamemaliza wana etsa wako vioni au wameshamaliza wako mtahani nataka niwaambie kitu kimoja nutritionist na dietitians wote ambao tuko etsa tuko mtahani tuko kwenye ajira tuko vioni tunakaribia kumaliza moja i want us to understand kwamba uh, nutrition uko kwanza uko kwenye the right track haujapotea lakini cha pili tufahamu kwamba kile ulichokisomea either nutrition or the, uh, dietetics kile ulichokisomea mazingira ya nje ya sasa hivi yasifishe kile kitu kilichopo ndani yako yani kile kilichopo ndani yako kisije kikafifishwa kutokana na mazingira kwamba itsa soko la ajira nutritionist wanao nafasi za ajira hakuna so hicho kinamba moja isikufifishe lakini wewe kama nutritionist au dietitian natamani tufahamu kwamba Sisi <coughs> tulizo zimekuwa researched. Yaani umesoma kama nutritionist au dietitian. 
hizi fili zimekuwa researched kwa hiyo ni wewe ni mtu muhusika na ni mtu ambaye ni muhimu sana kwenye jamii na mchango wako unahitajika sana kwenye jamii kama tunavyoona kwamba matatizo sasa hivi ni mengi sana kwenye jamii so wewe ni mtu mkubwa sana ambao unahitajika kuleta mchango kwenye jamii so haujapotea lakini pia nutritionist au dietitian ambao tume um, uh, tuko itseda, tuko kwenye ajira hatuko kwenye ajira tu, uh, tuko vioni natamani tutambue kwamba sio lazima uwe absorbed kwenye system ndio ujione kwamba uh, unaweza ukafanya kazi sio lazima unaweza ukajiajiri mwenyewe au ukaanzisha taasisi yako au ukaanzisha kitu ambacho unaweza kiko ndani ya uwezo wako sasa hivi tumeona kwamba matatizo ni mengi sana kwa hiyo wewe kama wewe unaweza sio lazima uwe umeajiriwa na serikali ndio useme kwamba nikiajiriwa naweza nikafanya hiki nikiajiriwa au nikipata nafasi kwenye international organization nitaonyesha hiki hapana sasa hivi ukiwa isedha uko chuoni ukiwa uh, haujapata ajira use that opportunity sio lazima usubirie mpaka pale uwe absorbed fedha na serikali au taasisi kuna namna nyingi sana ya wewe kutoa mchango wako kwenye jamii lakini natamani pia tufahamu kwamba sisi kama nutritionist au dietitian hata kama umeajiriwa usijilimit pale ulipo yani usikae pale pale ukasema kwamba ah mimi sasa nimeajiriwa na serikali usijilimit pale pale au umeajiriwa na taasisi fulani natamani uende mbali zaidi kufikiria kwamba isedha unaweza kukaja na research ukafanya documentation kwa sababu uko kwenye community na ubunifu wako unaweza ukaleta mabadiliko makubwa zaidi na we ambaye uko kwenye ajira kwa sababu kule unakutana na vitu vingi you can share jamani kuna hiki ambacho unakutana nacho kwenye jamii can you do a research unaweza ukashirikisha nutritionist au dietitians wengine wakaje wakafanya wakafanya research lakini kingine nataka tutambue kwamba Uh, sisi uh, uh, nutritionist wape mazingira ambayo yamekuzunguka usione ajira hakuna bado kile kicha kidogo ambacho umekisomea unaweza ukatengeneza na ukaleta matokeo makubwa sana kwenye taifa lako lakini pia niweze ku complement government's efforts ambazo uh, tunafahamu kwamba kama nilivyosema mwanzoni kwamba kipindi kile sisi ambapo tunamaliza chuo nutrition was not a priority lakini pia awareness ya nutrition ilikuwa bado iko chini sana ni compared to sasa hivi na sasa hivi tunaona kwamba kwanza serikali yetu imeweza ku, uh, ta, uh, Tanzania imeweza kuingia kwa ikuwa mwanachama wa Sun Movement hiyo ni efforts kubwa sana kwa taifa lakini ile ndio ilipelekea sasa tukaona watu wameanza kuajiriwa kwenye maeneo tofauti tofauti kwenye region kwenye district na sasa hivi tunaona kwamba kuna nutritionist ambao wanaajiriwa kwenye maeneo ya hospitali lakini pia tunaona kwamba uh, efforts ambazo serikali imezifanya ni kwamba <clears throat> tunaona kwamba kuna ile high level steering committee ambayo imeanzishwa na ina wale key people wale influential people ambao wako pale top management na wanasimamia masuala mazima ya lishe lakini pia kipindi kile sisi tuna, tunaanza hatukuwa na miongozo yani ni wewe tu una bubo unatafuta kitu una, unaenda kuifundisha jamii lakini sasa hivi tunaona angalau kuna miongozo mbalimbali mingine ameshaisema kaka yangu maduu pale kwamba kuna miongozo mbalimbali tunaona kuna miongozo ya lishe mashuleni miongozo ya ulishaji wa watoto wadogo miongozo ya lishe na watu wenye maambukizi ya virusi vya ukimwi na tunaendelea hivyo lakini pia tunaona research mbalimbali ambazo zimeshafanyika ambazo zinaweza kutuinform sisi hali yetu ya lishe kitaifa na ile inatusaidia sasa sisi kama nutritionist zile research zinazofanyika nutritionist ndio tunatakiwa tuweke jicho pale kwamba okay yapi yalikuwa ni mazuri na zipi zilikuwa ni changamoto na zipi zilikuwa recommendation sisi tunaenda kwenye zile recommendation unachukua kile ambacho kiko ndani ya uwezo unaenda kukianzisha kitu kwenye kwenye jamii lakini tunaona pia sasa hivi kuna mikataba ya lishe na mama yetu Samia mwaka jana kwa wale ambao walikuwa wanafuatilia kwamba mwaka jana walifanya kazi nzuri sana kukaa kuna hiyo mikataba ya lishe na inaendelea kuanzia ngazi ya, ya mkoa mpaka ngazi ya kijiji kuna siku ya lishe so tunaona sasa hivi mabadiliko ni makubwa sana upande wa lishe kwa hiyo watu wa nutrition na watu wa dietetics hatuna haja ya kuogopa sana kama tu sisi tulivyokuwa kule nyuma na kitu kingine ambacho nimekipongeza serikali sasa hivi hata CCM 
wanakiashiria cha lishe wanatakiwa CCM wa, wa weze kuripoti viashiria vya lishe so kwetu sisi hapa kama nutritionist na dietitian tuone kama ni opportunity kubwa sana lakini pia tuweze kutambua kwamba ya, uh, ili awareness ambayo ya sasa hivi imeweza ku create demand we should be proud of that awareness ambayo imefanyika kwenye community imeweza ku create demand. So demand ambayo ime, imekuwa created kwenye community itusaidie sisi kama nutritionist na uh, dietitians kuweza ku grab hizo opportunities na kuweza kufanyia kazi. Lakini bado najua kwamba uh, tunajua kwamba kuna gaps uh, kaka yangu maduhu ameshazisemea gaps ni kwamba bado uelewa wetu pia sisi kama changamoto kubwa ambayo tunaipata sisi kama nutritionist ni uh, um, elimu ya kutosha ya kutusaidia sisi kuweza kujisimamia yani confidence confidence inatokana na kile utakachokielewa unaweza kukisimamia so nutritionist wengi sisi hatuna ile confidence yani ya kusimama ukatetea kitu unaweza hata ukaenda kwenye mikutano ukakuta ukakuta nutritionist anaulizwa swali pale anaanza kutrembo it's either yuko kwenye wilaya yuko kwenye mkutano unaanza kutetemeka kwa sababu gani hatuna ile confidence bado hatujiamini lakini nataka niwatie moyo kwamba huko uh, tuliko toka na hapa tulipo na tunapoelekea ni pazuri zaidi. Kwa hiyo changamoto kubwa bado hatuna hiyo elimu ya kutosha, vitendea kazi kama mwenzangu amesha amesha amevizungumzia, lakini pia kikubwa ambacho na mimi nilikuwa nataka nisisitize nisirudie ni ile board. Yaani tukiwa na board kama wenzetu tukawa na the same language. Yaani nutritionist huyu akiwa hospitali atasemea hicho, nikiwa na mkanseli huyu mtu nitasemea kitu hicho hicho kama madaktari wanavyofanya. Lakini leo utakuta kwamba tukichukua nutritionist watatu tukampa mgonjwa wa, wa kisukari kila mtu atatoka na mili plani tofauti kila mtu atatoka na ushauri tofauti so kwa tu sisi inakuwa ni changamoto kwa sababu ya ile base yani hatuna base ambayo au ile mwongozo ambao unatusaidia kwamba mgonjwa wa kisukari akija anatakiwa afanywe moja mbili tatu tukienda hospitalini kaka yangu madua atakwambia pale hospitalini kama kuna mgonjwa huyu wanaweka kabisa pale kwamba cha kwanza mpe dawa hii kishindikana mpe hiki kishindikana mpe hiki sisi hiyo miongozo tunaona hatuna na kwetu ndio tunaona ni changamoto kubwa lakini pia coverage ya maeneo yetu ni makubwa sana kwa hiyo unakuta kwamba nutritionist wengi hawapati ile tether ni financial support au support nyingine yote ambayo inaweza katusaidia sisi kuweza kufanya kazi kwa ufanisi zaidi lakini cha mwisho ambacho naweza kusemea um, uh, opportunities kuna opportunities zipi ambazo zipo kwenye upande wa nutrition and dietetics mimi nakumbuka kati naanza nutrition connect Tanzania nilianza kama nutrition uh, Tanzania nutrition connect na ile ilikuwa ni consultation firm na ile consultation fee ilikuwa nakutana na wateja wengi by then lakini kulikuwa kuna changamoto kwamba bado watu hawawezi kulipia uh, gharama za nutrition kwa sababu gani yuko tayari kulipa kwa daktari lakini akija kwa nutritionist bado alikuwa ha Ha, hawezi kulipia. So mimi kipindi hicho kati naanzisha hiyo consultation firm ikawa ni changamoto mtu hayuko tayari kulipia gharama za nutrition. Na ni kutokana na nini? Bado alikuwa haoni umuhimu. Anaona kama nutrition ni kitu kidogo sana. Lakini sasa hivi utaona kwamba tuna, tuna watu wengi hata sisi kama taasisi sasa hivi watu wanakuja wana, unahitaji service fulani, una, unahitaji kubandaliwa mili plan kufanyiwa counseling, kuna gharama kidogo lazima watalipia. So kuna opportunities nyingi. Moja naweza kwanza nataka tutambue kwamba uh, ile nutrition awareness ime create demand. Sasa ile demand ndio inayotusaidia sisi kutengeneza opportunities nyingi. Zipo opportunities zipi uh, kwa kuongezea kwenye zile ambazo kaka yangu maduwa ameshazisemea. Sasa hivi kuna issue kubwa za unhealthy eating ambayo inapelekea watu kuwa na hizi nani communicable diseases. Magonjwa ni mengi. You can just look and add kwamba ukaja tena nutrition na kisukari. Nutrition na, na, na laba na TB. Li, uh, uh, not TB. Uh, uh, figu. Uh, ukaja na laba elimu ya kusiana na utapiamlo kwa watoto. Ukaja na laba na uh, lishe na vijana uh, vijana balehe ukaja sasa hivi kuna pia lishe mashuleni kuna magonjwa tofauti tofauti lishe na wazee unaweza ukaja pia na opportunity ya kuja is either ni lishe na menopause kuna opportunities nyingi 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 opportunities zipo nyingi sana kwenye kwenye jamii lakini sasa hivi tunaona kwamba kuna uh, 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 NCDs NCDs uh, wanahitaji psychologists psychologist so tu, tunaweza kutima hapo na psychologist 
sis kama nutritionist au dietitian tukafanya kazi na psychologist na tukafungua its either consultation firm uh, alafu tukafanya kazi kwa pamoja kwa sababu mtu hawezi kuwa cancelled akiwa na kisukari tu aka, akaondoa ile stress bila mtu wa nutrition au dietitian so tuna hiyo opportunity lakini pia ni kuhakikisha kwamba unakuwa registered unafuata miongozo yote ya serikali ili usianze kupata shida lakini pia tunaona kwamba hatuna writers wazuri wa nutrition Uh, yani articles tunahitaji writers wazuri wa nutrition articles tukipata watu kama hao itasaidia sana yani mtu anajua kwamba nikienda kwenye uh, writer huyu anaongelea issues za nutrition mtu anaweza akafika pale akapata full details uh, kama tunavyoona sasa hivi ma group kwenye community ni mengi so uh, tunaweza tukapata hiyo opportunity ya kuwa it's a nutrition writer ukaandika article lakini sasa hivi kuna issues za nutrition and wellness Unaweza kuwa ni consultant wa wellness, nutrition wellness consultant, kuna hizo no opportunity ukafungua eneo lako kama unaweza, sasa unaweza kaanzia online, lakini watu wakawa na kuconsult wewe kuja kupata huduma. Na hii sasa hivi ni rahisi kwa sababu watu wamesha kuwa aware. Lakini ukaambia nutrition educator, unaweza kuwa nutrition educator, unaweza uka uka uka, uka, uka ukatengeneza mifumo mbalimbali mbali pia ya upande wa nutrition na hii itatusaidia sisi kuwa sio watu wote tukimbilia kwenye lishe ya mama na mtoto lishe ya vijana opportunities zipo zipo nyingi sana so kwa kusema hayo ni sema tu na washukuru sana na nitoe tu wito kwamba karibuni sana Nutrition Connect there's opportunity there ya kujifunza kwa pamoja lakini pia tuna accommodate mawazo kutoka kwa nutritionist na dietitians wenzetu Asanteni sana na mnisamehe kwa kutumia muda mrefu sana. Asante sana. Tumeweza kupata madini ya kutosha kutoka kwa dada yetu Madam Jacqueline Kawiche, Director and Founder of Nutrition Connect Tanzania. Na tuna tunaenda kuwa na break kidogo ya dakika mbili. Tunaenda kuangalia a short documentary about nutritional status in our country Tanzania. So I'm going to share screen right now. Sara? Yes. Are you having problems with sharing the screen? Yeah, I want yeah. to share the report. Okay, I'll, I'll, I will share it instead. Okay, thank you. Okay.
kama kama imeweza kuonekana vizuri lakini it it is a documentary ambayo inaonyesha nutrition status ya Tanzania kwamba for a very long time tumekuwa tukifight against malnutrition tupunguze malnutrition katika nchi ya Tanzania lakini tunaona kwamba katika sehemu za vijijini tunapigania tupunguze malnutrition lakini tunakuja kuona kwamba mjini kuna kuwa kuna ongezeko kubwa sana la overnutrition ambapo kunapelekea obesity na magonjwa ya sio ambukizwa kama magonjwa ya moyo magonjwa mengine ambayo hayambukizwi kutokana na lishe ambayo mjini wanaipata ambayo sio ya afya wanakula vyakula lakini havikidhi viwango vya lishe katika mwili wa binadamu kwa hiyo ndio ilikuwa documentary ndogo ambayo tulikuwa tumeiandaa katika this break tukija katika session nyingine Mr. Jackson kama upo Mr. Jackson Okay naona bado haja join Tukiendelea kuwasiliana naye Tukiendelea katika session ya pili tunaenda kuongelea kuhusu nutrition kiujumla tu yameongelewa mengi na madam yake Kawiche na Mr. Maduhu Machine ni mengi yameongelewa tunataka kuweza kujua kwa upande wa Tanzania kwa upande wa Tanzania kutokana na data tulizozipata za TDHS za mwaka huu mwaka 2022 tunaona kwamba kuna ongezeko kubwa sana la udumavu katika mikoa fulani fulani ambayo ni Iringa, kuna Njombe na tunategemea kwamba kule ndiyo watu watakuwa na afya nzuri kabisa kwa sababu wao wanavyokula kwa kutosha. Labda nikaribishe Mr. Maduhu au Madam Jacqueline Kawiche kama kuna lolote unaweza kuongezea au ukaongelea kuhusiana na hilo swala. Asante. Hello. Yes, yes. Yes, unasikika? Yeah. Labda kwa mimi hapa ki uh, mchango wangu kwa yale maeneo ambayo yamekuwa ya, ki, ya ambayo yana um, percent kubwa sana ya malnutrition tukifuatilia huko nyuma utagundua ni mikoa karibu ya ile ile yani kama uko Iringa Njombe ni mikoa ile ile ambayo ni, ni muda mrefu sana ambapo intervention zimeanza kwa ajili ya kupunguza uh, Uh, matatizo ya kilishi hasa issue za malnutrition. Uh, kwa mimi hapa naona kwamba huenda uh, kwa mimi hapa naona kwamba moja ni elimu. Elimu ambayo itaendana na mazingira husika ya kwenye jamii. Lakini pia nilikuwa na na, na waza pia kwamba huenda um, tungekuja na intervention ambazo zingeweza kuwashirikisha yani tutengeneze tu, tutengeneze intervention na, na wao kwa pamoja yani sio ile si tunakuja tunaenda na mradi kwamba huu mradi ni kwa ajili ya reduce stunting au huu mradi ni kwa ajili ya kupunguza uh, uh, yes kupunguza laba stunting tuende tukakae pamoja na wananchi na kutengeneza uh, kuja na intervention ambazo wao wenyewe watasuggest kutokana pia na na mazingira yao. Lakini kingine na na, na hisi pia ni kutokana na ni pamoja na elimu, bado elimu ya uh, vijijini kama tunavyosema bado uelewa ni mdogo, lakini pia huenda pia kuna ile uh, sijajua Kiswahili fasaha cha ignorance sijajua Kiswahili fasaha ni kipi lakini uh, huenda wameshaona uh, intervention zimeshapelekwa wanaona kama ni mazoea ni kitu kile kile miaka na miaka miaka na miaka mimi nilikuwa nahisi kwamba huenda ni elimu pia bado haijawafikia sana lakini pia uh, intervention ambazo zinapelekwa kule huenda haziendani na mazingira It's either tukaenda tukatengeneza tukakaa na wananchi wenyewe tukatengeneza a uh, uh, program ambao wao wenyewe watakuwa wameshiriki kuiandaa huenda hiyo inaweza kaleta ikaleta 
ule ile ushirikiano na wao wakashiriki moja kwa moja na kuona kwamba ni jinsi gani wao kama wao wanaweza waka waka waka, waka uh, tatua matatizo yao wao wenyewe kwa sababu haya maeneo inaonekana kwamba ni mradi unakuja una fedha au unaondoka mradi unakuja mwingine una fedha au unaondoka sasa ili kitu kiweze kuwa sustainable ni kitu ambacho isedha kitoke chini kule wakianzishe wao wenyewe ili iweze kuwa sustained iweze kuwa sustainable wakianzisha kitu wao wenyewe na wakaona wao wenyewe wamekichangia itasaidia wao sasa kwanza kuwa accountable kushiriki kwenye zoezi zima lakini pia kusimamia na kuhakikisha kwamba hiki kitu kiaya matatizo yanafanyaje yanaondoka kwa sababu na wao wameshirikishwa from the scratch so wakati mwingine inahisi tedha kwa sababu wanaona kwamba miradi inakuja inaondoka lakini elimu elimu huenda bado ipo chini sana na uh, elimu huenda bado ipo chini sana lakini pia ushirikishwaji wa kuandaa miradi yani hii miradi maana kule zina inapelekwa miradi mingi sana kila mradi unaoenda utapelekwa kule kila mradi utakaoenda utapelekwa na baada ya hapo unaondoka na vitu vyake unaondoka wananchi wanabaki pale so mimi naona kwamba maybe ushirikishwaji wa jamii wa kutengeneza intervention ambazo zitaweza kusaidia kutatua matatizo yao wao wenyewe uende inaweza ikaleta mabadiliko kiasi fulani Asante. Okay. Asante sana madam Jackson Kawiche. Tunaona Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson Matthias, Mr. Jackson from TNDA. Karibu sana. Mr. Jackson, our special guest kutoka TNDA. You're mostly welcome. Are you around? Mr. Jackson If you have muted your mic please Mr. Jackson can you unmute it Okay I think yes, he's yes, having problems yes, with Yes um, yeah I'm alarm yeah. there I'm alarm there Okay you're welcome Thank you but I'm sorry for being late. I'm very sorry. You can proceed. We we have talked much on the opportunities available. Uh we have had much from Mr. Madu Mashini, a clinical dietitian at Moindoi National Hospital. At also we have had much from Madam Jacqueline Kawiche, the director and founder of uh, Nutrition Connect Tanzania. So we would like to hear a bit from you on the opportunities available as you are from the Tanzania uh, Tanzanian Nutrition and Dietetics Association. Uh, in brief, then we have a session of questions and answers, also opinions and recommendations after you speak. You are most welcome, Mr. Jackson. Thank you very much for this opportunity for being here discussing about nutrition. I much appreciate your effort. Uh, on behalf of uh, my association TNDA, uh, my name is Jackson, as you have been introduced. Uh, according to my session, is about to, to analyze or to mention or to discover the opportunities available uh, on nutritional careers. Actually, we have a lot of opportunity. Uh, rather than from being um, raised by government, but we as an association, we have an opportunity. And um, what I can say, is that we are the nutritionists and some of us we are dietitians we have an opportunity to make sure that the community get enough knowledge on the matter of nutrition 
before I proceed with an opportunity, maybe can I can I give an uh, an an appreciate to the effort made by the government on the issue of nutrition, as we are seeing now. The government is making more effort to make sure that the nutrition carrier and the nutritionist and the dietitian are being get enough priorities to the hospitals, to the local authorities, and the others. So the government is much interested in nutrition. As we see now, there is a lot of opportunity raised by the government compared to the previous days. Uh, as we as nutritionists, we have an opportunity also to the communities. The community, they need more. They need more effort. They need more encouragement. They need more knowledge to get or to hear from nutritionists. As now you can see some of the NGOs, non-government organization exist much to make sure that they are dealing with the nutritional knowledge to combat malnutrition. Uh, we have some NGOs, they are dealing with supplements to make sure that the community is getting enough nutrients. But we as a nutritionist, let us say from being opening an NGOs, from being releasing some nutritional knowledge to the public via social network and the others, we have a lot of opportunity to make it. So uh, for two, I can end up there. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, Mr. Jackson, Matthias, I'm going to tell you that 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 i uh, kuna mashirika yanajishughulisha na kutengeneza supplements kwa ajili ya kuhakikisha kwamba jamii inapata virutubisho vya kutosha ili kuweza kuondokana na matatizo yanayotokana na ukosefu wa lishe salama au Ayo, for the previous speakers wote Wameza kujia kwenka wiche, the missing guest of honor was Dr. Leonard Katalambula uh, from University of Dodoma. Uh, apparently, he wasn't able to, to, to join the meeting, maybe because of some issues that are out of the zone. Lakini, kati ya watu ambao, wangeweza kuwa ni uh, identity pia katika kuchambua, uitaji wa elimu ya lishe Tanzania pia na yeye yumo sababu ni kati ya watu ambao waliona kwa unahitaji pia kuanzisha uh, kozi University of Dodoma ya Clinical Nutrition and Dietetics ambao pia kwa upande mmoja tunategemea itakuwa ni sehemu kubwa ya kufill the gap And we are approaching to questions and we'll have the people who have the answers. posted in call messages. Uh, it's innocent Sanga. Anasema, so do we all agree these regions with high malnutrition rates have enough food as one of, of the meeting host said? And when we say that, what do we really mean by enough food? Is it in the farm or in the household or where is it? I'm not going to say that we have enough food. We have enough food in the farm or in the house or in the house. But also I would like Mr. Innocent to address this question. 
watu ambao wanahusika na kulijibu basi waweze kuwa na kuwa na jibu sahihi zaidi Mr Innocent are you around Mr Innocent Mr Innocent is not around. Mr. Innocent, can I please unmute your mic? Can I unmute the mic? He is in the meeting, but he is not responding. Okay, now I'm going to meet you somewhere. Somebody raise their hand. Project in the story. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. After all of you. Yes, good afternoon. Welcome. For good afternoon. Yes. Gina, I'm going to talk about Genes. I'm going to phone my Udom. I'm going to call Tatu. I'm going to call you. 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 I'm going to call you huyu mada ya malopidenti ambo ni mutishi ni connecti api ya kwa kaka angu kaka Jackson ya kwanza kutoka kwa mada ya malisema kwamba kuna sili kuna kuna sekta ya mutishi ni tunakosa vile kama vile ya ni kama ile umoja wa madakari ambo upo mpano wanakuwa wana the same description kwamba a fetti dag labda ni kitu fulani kabla kuna pressure labda nini tutumia bahadhazi nikishirikana tunahamia kwa nini then all thing like that ndio lakini sisi kwa nutrition ni vitu kama hivyo vinakosekana kwa sababu hata ukiangalia alaje ya kitu fulani huyu anaweza kusema hivi because kwa sababu watu wengi tuna maybe tuna google au mwalimu anakwambia hivi maybe huku ko na inakuwa ni tofauti ndio sasa ni mikakati ipi sisi kama nutritionist au dietitian au ni lini sasa tutaamua kuna ndi ku au ni effort zipi ambazo zina, ambazo tayari zimeanzishwa au lini zitaanzishwa au ipoje ili kuweza ku, ku, kutengeneza hiyo na ndiyo kutengeneza hiyo hiyo taasisi au hiyo bodi au kuwa na na, na ndi na umoja au ndio 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 sasa hivi yani kwamba ndio tunaanza hivi au vipi afya pili toka kwa Jackson ambao yupo TNDA ndio au shirika la TNDA hii na ndii bodi ya TNDA ina na ndii inaweka na ndii mikakati ipi katika katika kuconnect wanafunzi wanaosoma nutrition au dietetics pamoja na kulinki na serikali unajua ni bila sana kama serikali tuko tume watu wametoka kwa wanafunzi kwa kuna link ya serikali na wa, na utambuzi wa vitu hivi ili mtu akiwa tayari amesha amemaliza inakuwa ni vilaisi sana kuna ndii hata ku, ku, kutata namna yote maybe kuvolunkia au kufanya kazi na kutambulika vizuri kuliko mtu ukimaliza chuo na kuanza kutafuta sasa jinsi ya kuweza kutambulika inakuwa ni vigumu kama ukianza kutambulika ukiwa sio lazima wajiliwe no but kutambulika ukiwa mwanafunzi inakuwa ni vilaisi hata kwa wale watu wengine ambao wako ndani ya serikali ambao hawafahamu uwele, hawana uelewa zaidi wa umuhimu na wa nutrition na dietetics kwa ujumla kuweza kutambua kwa sababu serikali tayari itakuwa inatambua. Kwa hiyo hayo ndio ma, maswali yangu kwa leo ni kwataji ufafanuzi kidogo. Thank you. Okay. Asante sana Mr. Ojex mnaweza ukashusha mbono sasa. Na nipenda hayo maswali yameulizwa kwenda direct kwa Nutrition Connect Tanzania na TNDA I hope mmeanoti naomba pia ni nisome swali lingine ambalo hili na hili linaenda zaidi kwa Dr. Madu Mashini ni kutoka kwa Rehema Msauge anasema what to do so that we can build up the confidence of upcoming nutritionist who are still in college and university kwa tuna maswali hayo matatu moja limeenda kwa Mr. Madu Mashini lingine limeenda TNDA na lingine limeenda Nutrition Connect Tanzania I would like to welcome 
uh, other more two questions kutoka kwa Victor na uh, Abu Bakari kabla tujaanza kuyajibu. Kwa hiyo naomba hayo maswali yawe noted please. Uh, welcome Victor. Oh, Victor left. Welcome Abu Bakari. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Tunakusikia. Na um, my name is Abu Bakari. My name is Abu Bakari. Okay. Me ni food scient food scientist. Ah, uh, swali so langu ni kwamba kutokana na sasa hivi changamoto kubwa Hello. Yes, carry on with your question Hello. direct Hello. to the person. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Nilikuwa na swali moja kwamba kutokana sasa hivi changamoto kubwa imeonekana hizi food supplement zimekuwa changamoto sana nchini. Kwa hiyo hawa serikali au hizi nani angels zina mpango gani juu ya swala hili? Either kutengeneza au kuzipata kuhola isu kwa sababu ukiangalia mikoa kama Dodoma au hospitali nyingi za sasa hivi supplements kama mfano hizi 1075 Prambinats ni changamoto sana kwa hiyo TMDA au organization hizi nyingine mna mpongo gani ili kuweza kuzatoa ile tatizo Okay asante kwa hilo swali and Victor Victor Merudi online please you had a question will you raise your hand please we are giving you this opportunity kuuliza Okay Victor is not around please ya uh, sasa tunaomba tu kwa hayo maswali yaliyoulizwa kuna maswali ambayo yameenda direct kwa Dr. Madu Mashini lakini pia kuna swali limeenda Nutrition Connect Tanzania na kuna maswali kama mawili yameenda TNDA directly pamoja na hilo la mwisho of course imerudi tena na kwa Nutrition Connect Tanzania. So I welcome Mr. Maduhu first then tutaenda hivyo chronologically. Welcome Mr. Maduhu for the question from <laughs> Rehema. Hello. Yes, yes, you, you are audible. Yeah, nadhani kwenye issue ya covid hapo kwa mwanafunzi ambaye yuko chuoni au ambaye yuko field au ambaye ame kwa employed somewhere else kama nilivyosema awali kwamba challenge ambayo tunaifesi sasa hivi ni moja wapo ya hiyo covid kwa kwa nutritionist kitu ambacho au strategy kile ambacho tunaweza tukazifanya kwa mfano kwa watu wanaotoka sokoine at least kwenye field placement au kwenye field waongeze muda kama walimu pia hiyo tunaweza pia tukawashauri kwa sababu te huo muda wanaokuja kufanya field ni mchache sana wanashindwa kupata vitu vya kutosha kingine hizo curriculum ambazo ziko developed na chuo waka tunatoa report kwamba kuna weakness sehemu fulani tunahitaji wanafunzi artist wapate moja mbili tatu ili waweze kuwa confident au kuweza ku meet na mahitaji kwenye jamii wanayokuja kufanya hizo kazi. Kingine kama nilivyosema kama tukiwa na board au hiyo association ya TNDA waweze kutengeneza kitu tunachoita continuous professional development ambayo tunaita CPD. Hizi ni short course watakuwa wana train wanafunzi na ambao wako makazini hizo zitakuwa zinafundishwa sasa eze kwenye holistic au kwenye social media wao wanapewa kwa wale ambao wako mahospitalini kuwe na hizo CPD eze ni za diabetic eze ni za cardiovascular eze ni za cancer eze ni za watoto au mateno ziwepo hizo CPD za kuweza ku branch au update information kwa hiyo tutakuwa tunatoa hizo taarifa kingine unaweza kama ku update kitu kingine kwa wewe kama wewe sasa vitu vingine wewe usisubiri usis kwamba ukwe lazima pia unaweza ka apply kwenye la, online u apply zile short course au long short short hizo hizo long course as an masters kuna course za miezi minne kuna course za miezi sita kwa university ambazo ziko nje ambao wana offer hizi course za nutrition au kwenye dietetic kuna apply na unaweza ukapata pia lakini kingine tu cha kusisitiza pia kama TNDA na Jackson yuko hapa Hatupe lungu zaidi kwamba kwamba tunataka nini sasa kwa sababu kama registered nutrition so dietitian we need quality and the skills pamoja na knowledge ili ku deliver hiyo kwa hiyo 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 
hiyo service yetu ya nutrition kwenye community bila kufanya hiyo kuwa na board au hiyo hiyo na nili hiyo association kwa sababu association ndio yenyewe ya kuweza kutengeneza hizi CPD unapokuja kwenye field sasa nafanya vitu gani sasa au una focus nini sasa lazima niwe na hizo upgrade kingine tuwe na connection kati ya supervisor au ambao wanafunzi wanapokuwa kwenye field na wale walimu wanao offer hiyo program wanapo offer tunazima tunawaambia kwamba kuna weakness tumeiona hapa hata kwenye kuandaa curriculum au kuboresha curriculum unaweza wakaimpinch hivyo vitu tunavyotaka waweze kumit kwa sababu hakuna curriculum ambayo ni ya milele ina change according to the global hata nje kule wana change kulingana na mahitaji ya wananchi hatuwezi ndio kuwa na, na curriculum ambayo ni ya miaka elfu mbili mpaka sasa hivi inatumika it is so hard to achieve hivi vitu it is better kwamba kama tunapotoa hizo report mnapowafikishia walimu hakikisheni wanatoa hizo feedback sasa nadhani hapo ndakuwa nimeshajibu swali lake vizuri upande wa kuwa na confidence ile integrity pamoja kingine discipline sio tu confidence uwe na discipline hata we mwenyewe sasa mm-hmm. kuna mwingine unaweza kuwa na confidence lakini you don't have a discipline hata sasa hivi tunavyokutana kama hivi unaenda kwenye field somewhere else una discipline ni challenge kuweza kumit hiyo confidence unayoitaka Mm. Kwa hiyo lazima well, well. wenyewe tujituni sasa lazima tuwe na discipline kama tunapokuwa kwenye field yetu hapa tunahitaji nini? Jamii inahitaji nini? Lazima pia we mwenyewe kwamba usitiki kwenye hizo dreams zako kwamba mimi nategemea niwe hivi. Usipositiki na dreams zako unakuwa ni changamoto. Kwa hiyo I hope mm-hmm. na hiyo vumilivu sasa yes vumilivu ni muhimu sana. Hakuna kitu kinachokuja kilaisi. Lazima yeah. ustruggle yourself na pia kingine anachoweza kushauri kwenye confidence hapa kwenye ku select friends lazima uwe salamu Mr. Madubu. Hello. Hello, tunakusikia. Mr. Madu. Mr. Madu. <coughs> Hello. Mr. Madu. Hello. Eh, hey, Mr. Madu who has finished uh, answering the questions. Okay. Okay. Sasa kulikuwa na maswali ambayo yalienda direct kwenda kwa Tanzania. Uh, I mean Nutrition Connect Tanzania lakini pia nakwenda direct kwa TNDA. Naomba niwakaribishe uh, Nutrition Connect Tanzania Madam Jacqueline Kawiche ili aweze ku, kuyajibu. Asante. Um yameulizwa maswali mawili ila anaweza nikaanza kujibu lile la pili alafu nitamalizia na lile la kwanza. Ah la swali la pili ilikuwa nauliza kuhusiana na mikakati iliyopo kuhusiana na zile supplement mfano hizo CF75 F100 uh, kwamba ni zile zinatumika kwa ajili ya management ya malnutrition ya watoto kwenye uh, vituo vyetu vya kutolea huduma za afya lakini pia sasa hivi kama tunavyofahamu kwamba zimeadimika sana yani unaweza ukapiga simu kutafuta F75 usiipate sasa uh, kama tunavyofahamu kwamba hizi supplement kwanza ni za gharama ni very expensive lakini pia uh, hii program sio sustainable na sasa hivi utagundua kwamba donors kwa sababu supplement nyingi zina uh, zinanunuliwa na donors uh, serikali kununua supplement ni gharama kubwa kwa hiyo utagundua kwamba donors wengi sasa hivi wanajitoa na wanajitoa sio kutoka kwenye supplement tu donors wengi wanajitoa kwenye curative 
wanaenda kwenye preventive yani wanataka prevention zaidi kuliko kwenye kutibu so uh, kwa mikakati ambayo sasa hivi uh, ina, ina, inafanyiwa um, moja ni ku kukimbilia zaidi kwenye preventive yani kabla watoto hawajafika kwenye lile tatizo la kupewa easy f75 f100 kwa sababu kwanza ni very expensive lakini pia hazipatikani lakini pia sio sustainable yani kila siku dona kupata dona kununua zile supplement sio sustainable so uh, sisi kama uh, uh, NGOs na nutritionists na dietitians tu, uh, tujiwekeze zaidi kwenye preventive kabla watoto hawajafika kwenye uh, 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 ile stage ya, ku, ya kuwa severely malnourished tuende zaidi kwenye preventive uh, uh, measures zaidi kuliko mtoto mpaka afike kwenye cre- uh, cure- curative lakini kingine ambacho naweza nikasemea hapo mikakati ambayo uh, na, nakumbuka kwamba sasa hivi serikali ina, imeandaa mwongozo wa kutengeneza locally hizi F75 nadhani kitu kama hicho F75 kitu kama hicho so kwa kutumia zile local available resources ambazo zinapatikana kwenye mazingira yetu lakini pia uh, kwa sababu tunaona kwamba ni ni, ni sehemu ya ku, uh, preventive lakini pia sustainability ila sisi kama wataalamu walishe na, 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 na dietitians wenzetu tunaweza tukafikiria sasa pia hii ni opportunity nyingine je tunaweza tukatengeneza hizi supplement kwa kutumia local available resources kwa sababu donors wengi sasa hivi wanajitoa kwenye curative wanaenda kwenye preventive wanataka zaidi to prevent kabla watoto hawajafika kwenye malnutrition kwa sababu sio wakati wote tutapata hizi donors funds za kununua hizi supplement na ndio maana utaona kwamba sasa hivi donors wengi wameanza kujitoa kununua hizi supplement je watoto wetu waendelee kufa hapana so we need to come up with uh, other strategies sisi kama nutritionist je tunaweza tukatengeneza a local available uh, uh, supplements ambazo kutokana na mazingira na vyakula vilivyopo na zikasaidia ku manage hizi malnutrition lakini kikubwa zaidi kuwekeza zaidi kwenye preventive measures kabla tujafika kwenye cure creative measures. Lakini kingine swali lingine ambalo likuwa limeulizwa ni jinsi gani hiyo bodi inaweza ikaanzishwa je imeshaanzishwa au tumefikia wapi uh, lakini na hiyo miongozo je tunaweza tukaipata je tumeshaanza mikakati na je kuna mikakati gani sisi kama nutrition connect Tanzania tumekuwa tukitumia kila fursa tunayoipata kuelezea changamoto za upande wa field wa nutrition hasa ambazo tunakutana nazo kwenye community lakini pia kwa field yenyewe kama field ya nutrition tumekuwa tukielezea hasa kuhusiana na ibo bodi tuna, tuna sio sisi wa kwanza ku, ku, kuzungumzia kuhusu bodi uh, tumeshaizungumzia na watu wanaendelea kuizungumzia na tunaendelea kuizungumzia lakini uzuri zaidi sasa hivi tuna chama chetu kinaitwa Tanzania Nutrition and Dietetic Association ambacho hichi chama kitasaidia sasa kubeba yale maono au mawazo ya nutritionist na dietitians kupeleka mbele zaidi kwa sababu tukiwa na hii bodi kama tulivyosema itatusaidia kutujengea uwezo zaidi na kutushapen na kutupa sisi ile credibility au certification kwamba naweza nikafanya kazi sehemu yoyote. So uh, kwa mashirika tumekuwa tunatumia opportunity yoyote ambayo tunaoipata lakini pia kuendelea kutoa mawazo kwenye chama chetu kile cha Tanzania Nutrition and Dietetic Association kila wakati mawazo tunapopata tuzungumze tuzungumze lakini pia kila nafasi unayoipata uitumie tuweze ku raise our voice kwamba we need this. Tunahitaji hiki, tunahitaji hiki. Sisi kwa pamoja tunaweza tukifanya hivyo tunaweza tukafikia ya yale malengo ya kuwa na board lakini pia tusiache kutumia opportunity yoyote tunayoipata yani kuelezea zile changamoto ambazo zipo kwenye masuala mazima ya lishe and dietetics kama 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 field So hayo tu ndo naweza nikasema kwamba kwa sasa uh, tunatumia sisi kama taasisi opportunity yoyote tunayoipata kuzungumza lakini kuonyesha kwamba tuna uhitaji lakini pia tuna chama chetu ambacho ni cha Nutrition and Dietetic Association ni chama kizuri na kitatusaidia sisi sasa ku, uh, kubeba yale mawazo na kuonyesha kwamba we need this tunahitaji kuwa na board kama hii ambayo itatusaidia sisi kama Nutrition and Dietetics uh, kama field kuweza kuwa na bodi yetu wenyewe kwa ajili ya kutusetify lakini pia itatuuza pia hata ndani na, na nje ya nchi na kutufanya kuwe na confidence zaidi katika utendaji kazi. Asante sana. Asante sana. Uh, naona Mr. Maduhu ume raise uh, your hand kabla ya kumkaribisha kabla ya kumkaribisha Mr. Jackson Matias basi naomba nikukaribishe Maduhu. 
Okay. Ada menulis ski apa? Dio. Yeah. Yeah. Kwenye mambo ya kuongeza po ambacho upande wa miongozo Kwa sabi kama wizara tunatengeneza yu miongozo ya nutrition upande wa hospital Tunaita medical nutritional guideline ambazo zakuwa zina impinch kila nutritional issue according to the disease mm. Na pia itakuwe ina, ina, ina kutata kwenye community Wayo kwa hichi cho kitu sa hivi ndio kinacho enderea sa hivi kwa kucho enderea ni kukande wa, wa kwenye community pa moja na kwenye hosi kwa sefi hiyo miongozo. I hope mpaka sa hivi kwenye problems na mwezi huu na thani watu watakwepo dodomo kwa hivi ya kuenderea kutengeneze kutengeneze. Lakini kwa kuongezea pia kama hiyo association ya kwetu hiyo it is a good place ya kuweza kuwa linked in a global association ambazo au society au association zingine za nje ili kuweza kupata hizo accreditation eza za kwenda kusoma eza za kupata short course kwa ajili ya kuimprove our knowledge and the skills kwenye upande wa practice nadhani kikubwa tu ni kuwa tuna confidence kwa viongozi wetu wa push alaka ili tusije tuka mkateseka wala ambao bado mko nyuma why we need to change area ili mambo ya ende vizuri lakini naona effort zipo zinaendelea i hope kuhusu upande wa guideline mambo yatakasa okay asante sana kwa okay naomba ni kwa ajili ya ya ku, ya, ku, ya kumalizia swali ambalo swali mawili ambayo alipatiwa ya kutoka kutoka NDA na muda unatupa mkono na fikiri tutakuwa na swali moja ama mawili ya mwisho kwa sababu our meeting inaribia kuisha na mwasante sana kwa mara nyingine tena naomba kujibu hayo maswali ya Mr. Ojek si kama sikosei Eh moja hapo ya swali ambalo ameuliza ni mkakati wa chama kwa upande wa wanafunzi waliopo viwoni na wanaoendelea na masomo. Kwanza nianze tu kwa kuambia kwamba chama chetu kina mipango mizuri sana. Na wakati kinaundwa hiki chama kilikusudia kuwaunganisha wanataaluma wote wa taaluma ya lishe ambao wanapatikana nje wanapatikana ndani lengo la chama ilikuwa ni kuunganisha watu wawe kitu kimoja waweze kutumika ipasavyo na waweze kuonekana kwa sababu hamuwezi mkaenda bila kuwa na njia lazima muwe na njia ndo muweze kuendelea na safari kwa hiyo chama kilianzishwa kwa lengo la kuunganisha wanataaluma wote na kufanya shughuli za kitaaluma kama ambavyo inavyotakiwa sasa kwenye chama tuna wanafunzi wa aina tatu. Tuna tuna wanachama wa aina tatu. Kwanza tuna wanachama ambao tunawaita wanachama wa kawaida ambao ni ordinary member. Hawa ni wanachama ambao wamemaliza vyuo, wana kazi zao, wana taaluma zao huko, wanafanya kazi, wanaingia ndani ya chama tunawasajili, wanatambulika, kazi na kuwa inaendelea. Lakini tuna wanachama wa wanafunzi au tunaita student member ambao nao pia wanaingia ndani ya chama wanasajiliwa wanapata usajili kamili kuna database ambayo tuna, tuna database ya wanafunzi tuna database ya ordinary member lakini tuna wanachama wengine ambao wenyewe tunawaita honorary member hawa ni wanachama ambao chama kinawatunuku kulingana na shughuli wanazozifanya kwa mfano huko baadaye tunapoendelea hawa wakina wakina dada letu hawa wakina jakini kawisha wakina sala na wengineo chama kinaweza kikaamua kumtunuku kwa namna ambavyo anafanya effort kwenye masuala ya lishe katika jamii. Sasa swali lako Mr. Ojex ni kwamba chama kinatambua uwepo wa wanafunzi na kina tayari kishaanza kuwasajili, tumeshasajili wanachama wa wa SUA, Sokoine University. Tuna wanachama wanatoka chuo kikuu huria Open University na hivi karibuni nilikuwa Dodoma nikiongea na viongozi wa Takinudisa kama sikosei na hawa tumeshaweka mikakati kwamba ni lazima tufike Dodoma tuwasajili wanachama wanafunzi tuwe na database ya wanafunzi hata watakapokuwa wanapenda 
pili wanapokwenda kazini wamemaliza ni lazima chama kiwe na kumbukumbu kumbu zake kwamba huyu mtu alikuwa chuo gani alifanyia fidi wapi anaendeleaje na mambo mengine kama hayo ambayo yanafanana kwa maana hiyo tunao uhusiano wa karibu sana na wanafunzi wa chama na ni muhimu kuwa na na mahusiano na wanafunzi kwa sababu bila kujenga msingi upande wa wanafunzi hatuwezi kuja kuwapata wanachama ambao wanakijua chama vizuri kwa hiyo wanafunzi tuko nao karibu sana na tunaendelea kulishughulikia hilo na mimi ni aidi tu kwamba kwa niaba ya chama chetu tutakuja yudo kwa ajili ya shughuli hii kama ambavyo tumefanya kwenye vyuo vingine kwa tuna database za wanafunzi na tuna database za ordinary memba ambao ni wanachama wa kawaida ambao pia wanalipia gharama za kujiunga na chama wanakuwa furu registered na chama kinawatambua na serikali pia inakuwa inawatambua lakini kwa upande wa swali la pili uliuliza bodi naona dada yangu alikuwa ameshaanza kulijibu kimsingi chama kinafanya effort kubwa sana kuhakikisha kwamba tunakuwa na bodi na ndio lengo la kusajili hiki chama 2020 lengo ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunakuwa na bodi inayotusemea matatizo yetu na inayosimamia taaluma kumbukeni siku hizi za karibuni kumeibuka na watu ambao wanajiita ma maafisalishe lakini ukiwafuatilia hakuna chochote anachokijua ni kwamba tu ameamua kujitangaza ni afisalisha anapotosha watu anawadanganya watu maziwa ya fai na mengineyo ambayo hayahusiani kabisa na anataruma. Kwa hiyo lengo la chama ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunaishauri serikali inatengeneza bodi ambayo itazibiti na itakuwa na mamlaka sasa kamili juu ya hii taaluma yetu. Na mpaka dakika hii tunapoongea serikali inafanya effort kubwa kupitia wizara ya afya kupitia waziri wa afya kwa kweli tunapata update nzuri hapo hatuwezi kuzinanisa lakini kwa kifupi ni kwamba serikali inafanyia kazi na kama mnavyoona serikali ya mama Samia iko makini na inajitahidi sana kulifanya swala la lishe lipewe kipaumbele nafikiri hata nyinyi mnaona jinsi gani ambapo lishe imekuwa imeibuka hivi karibuni mara unasikia siku ya lishe mara unasikia siku ya chakula mara unasikia masuala ya mikataba ya lishe kwa hiyo hizo zote movement ni kwa sababu chama kimekuwa kiki effort lakini serikali imekuwa ikisikiliza mawazo kupitia wizara zake kupitia management zingine basi nafanya effort and i hope soon as possible tutakuwa na board yetu kamili na hii sasa taaluma ya lishe itaonekana sasa iko 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 ina, inafanyiwa kazi na matunda yake atakuwepo. Kwa hiyo nafikiri kwa maswali hayo mawili kama nimesahau naomba Mr. Gilbert unikumbushe lakini I hope kwa issue ya wanafunzi hiyo tuko nayo na I hope tutakuja Dodoma kwa ajili ya kuwasajili wanachama wanafunzi wa wa UDM hususan hawa wote ambao wanamaliza hivi karibuni na hao wengine wa chini tutaendelea nao. Asante sana. Aya. Asante sana Mr. Jackson. Nafikiri kulingana na muda tuna mambo mengi sana ambayo tunaweza tukayaongea hata kesho bado isitoshe. Na kuna maswali mengi sana ambayo naona yanakuwa posted. Sister Sara uh, Makweba ame, ameweka email hapo ambayo mtaweza kutuma maswali kwa watu ambao tumeshindwa kuwafikia kwa muda huu utatuma maswali na your opinions na zitawafikia walengwa na our guests of honor na wao watakuwa na majibu mazuri zaidi lakini pia napenda kuwakaribisha uh, our member uh, na nini napenda kuwakaribisha uh, TNDA pale Udom kwa members wa Takmudisa ambao ni chama cha wanafunzi wanaosoma clinical nutrition and dietetics pia nafikiri itakuwa ni swala jema sana kusikia ku, kutoka kutoka kwenu. Kuna mtu ameuliza swali la jinsi gani wa, watu wanaweza wakajoin na hiyo board na hiyo TNDA. I think uh, Mr. Jackson ungelijibu hilo swali ili tuweze kukumalizia. Aha asante sana. Namna ya kujiunga na chama chetu kama nilivyoeleza hapo awali. Kama ni mwanafunzi, huyu aliyeuliza si ni mwanafunzi? 
ndio ni mwanafunzi aha sasa tuna nimesema chama kina kina komodenti wanachama wa aina mbili wanachama wanafunzi na wanachama wa kawaida wanachama wanafunzi maana yake ni kwamba tunakuja chuoni tunasajiri ama una to request kwenye email zetu za chama na nafikiri nitazishare lakini kwa upande wa wanafunzi maana yake tunakuja tu chuoni tunachukua ma, 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 tunachukua hizo hizo orodha basi Okay, asante sana. Asante sana. Lakini cha kuongezea, nitakili bet sorry. Ndio. Cha kuongezea chama kilikuwa na mikakati ya kuanzisha matawi viwoni. Na tunashukuru sana Yudo mkuu wa kwanza kuanzisha tawi linalohusiana na taaluma ya lishe kama ilivyo kwenye taaluma zingine. Tunawashukuru sana Yudo na tunawapongeza sana kwa jitihada hizo kwa sababu hiyo ilikuwa ni mkakati wa chama kuhakikisha kila palipo na taaluma kwenye chuo chochote kile kuna kama kuna taaluma lazima tuanzishe chama au tuanzishe tawi linalohusiana na connection ya wanafunzi na chama kwa maana hiyo kwa kujiunga sasa ni aidi tena nitakuja Dodoma tutachukua hizo orodha tutaweka kwenye mikakati yetu asante okay uh, asante sana napenda pia kuchukuru watu wote kwa kuwa vumilivu na wastahimilivu Uh, kwa kwa hiki kipindi chote cha nutrition and dietetics career talk ni mengi sana yameongelewa ni opportunities nyingi sana zimeonekana lakini pia anapenda kusoma comment hapa ya Mr Alex Kaswalala anasema nadhani kuwepo na vipindi au webinar za mara, mara kwa mara itasaidia pia kupeana updates zinazoendelea katika uh, mawanda ya lishe nafikiri hiyo ni comment nzuri sana kwa sababu the more tunavyokutana the more we share the opportunities the more to tambiana what to do and what not to do what is good and what is not bad binafsi naitwa Gilbert Gaston Charles nimekuwa kama host pamoja na Sara Makweba mimi binafsi ni mwanafunzi wa clinical nutrition and dietetics mwaka wa tatu pale Udom lakini pia Sara mwanzangu ni mwanafunzi wa human nutrition pale Sokoina University of Agriculture lakini pia tunapenda kualika na watu wengine na wengine ambao watakuwa na webinar za namna hii basi ili tuweze ku, kupeana updates mbalimbali mbali na kujua wapi kuna fursa tuichangamkie na namna gani tunaweza tukatumia vile tulivyonavyo on hand ili kuweza kuonesha mabadiliko makubwa na mapinduzi katika uwanja wa lishe kwa sababu kwa sasa inabidi uh, watu tufanye kitu inaitwa mapinduzi ya lishe Tanzania ili iki kitu kiweze kuwa very viral that's it sababu kama kuna kitu inaonekana kimelala basi keze kuamshwa ndio naweza kumkaribisha pia uh, Sara Makweba kwa maneno mengine Asante Gilbert Gaston ah uh, kweli tumeweza kujifunza mambo mengi tumeweza kuona opportunities zilizopo katika field ya nutrition na dietetics tumeweza kujua namna ya kuweza kujiunga kwenye chama cha TNBA na tumeweza kuona mambo tofauti tofauti ambayo yataweza kutuguide vizuri katika kuelekea katika karia zetu za nutrition na dietetics napenda kuwashukuru sana our special guest Mr Jackson Matias Mr Maduhu Machine na Madam Jacqueline Kawiche pamoja na ambaye hakuweza kufika Mr na Dr Dr Leonard Katalambula head of department of public health Udom na nimeona pia kuna wengine wengi wameweza kujoin in naweza kutambua hapo pia wa Madam Justina Nyondo nutritional consultants na wengine wote ninawashukuru sana kama kutakuwa kuna maswali basi kuna email ambayo nimeweza kuituma hapo ili tuweze kuwafikia kuwafikishia maswali hayo wa usika tuweze kupata majibu yaliyo sahihi kabisa. Tunaweza tukatuma pia namba zetu za simu na majina yaliyo kamili kwenye chat box hapo pembeni. Tutaweza kuendelea kuwasiliana na kujua utaratibu utakaoendelea kama tutaweza kuunda group kwa mawasiliano zaidi na kuandaa webinar zingine nyingi zaidi na zaidi kwa kujifunza. Asanteni sana.
nikabishe Mr. Gilbert kama unataka kumalizia Ah uh, binafsi sina maneno mengine zaidi lakini kwa sababu uh, watu wapo wana share contacts zao basi kwa hizi dakika mbili kufikia saa saba kamili basi waweze ku share their contacts kwa sababu tutaka kumaliza meeting uh, the, the, the chatting box itapotea for you can screenshot the contacts ili kwa matumizi ya baadaye we can create the groups kwa hiyo ni ndani ya hizi dakika mbili i would like to say very uh, thank you very much for everyone ambaye ameweza kutumia muda wake ndani ya hii nutrition and dietetics career talk i think ni mara ya kwanza inafanyika a nutrition and dietetics career talk na pia ukizingatia kwamba kwa sasa kuna hii course ya clinical nutrition and dietetics pia na pia tunao human nutritionist lakini pia kutoka Open University wapo watu wa uh, food food, uh, food science nutrition and dietetics lakini pia tuna other more related courses za nutrition and food industry what was going on as to join hapa i think ilikuwa ni jambo la heri sana uh, ndani ya hii nutrition and dietetics career talk The next time I hope miaka ya mbele tutakapokuwa na vitu kama hivi basi tutakuwa sasa na experts ambao wao wataongea zaidi eh? nje na kwamba sasa hivi tumemsikiliza Dr. Maduhu, Mr. Jackson, tumemsikiliza Madam uh, Jacqueline I think the next time I hope watakuepo mtu kama Ogenes ambaye ameshiriki this moment atakuepo mtu kama Emmanuel au mtu kama Innocent pia atakuwa kama guest of honor in the next years eh? kwa pia tutakuwa na experts ambao watasema mimi nilisoma Udom, mimi nilisoma Sua na mimi nilisoma wapi. So we are creating a very good base ground kwa ajili ya wote. Lakini pia kikubwa ambacho naweza kusema cha kuzingatia ni you have to learn how to create that confidence. Una create ile confidence kama alivyosema uh, Mr. Maduhu. Lazima uwe na uh, uwe unajua nini ambacho unatakiwa kufanya. Usipokijua basi it's more likely kwamba utoweza kukutetea unaposema kwamba mtu mwenye shida ya ini eh, kwamba tunapunguza fat lazima ujue kwamba kwa nini tunapunguza fat au kwa nini tunapunguza eh, kiwango cha protein kwa mtu mwenye shida ya figo lazima uwe na uwe na evidence kwa unapokuwa na ile evidence the evidence is your confidence iko ndicho ambacho naweza nikasema basi kwa wote ambao mmeweza ku share share the phone numbers and emails kwenye kwenye in chat box hopefully we we'll try to get in touch with you na kwa maswali kuna email ambayo zimetumwa mbili ya kwangu na ya Sara mtatuma humo maswali na ind opinions na sisi tutazifikisha kwa wa guests of honor the missing guest of honor wa leo alikuwa ni dr Katarambula i hope ya yeah, na yeye uh, the brief about the meeting it amfikia and all the rest I'd like to say thank you very much welcome in the next uh, round the other time tutakapokutana for nutrition and dietetics career talk Masi naweza nikaruhusu our special guest naweza mka leave the meeting na wengine pia na ushukuru sana kwa kuwepo pamoja na sisi tumeweza kushare vitu vidi vitatu ambavyo vitatusaidia hata katika kariya zetu za kila siku tunazoziendea tunaweza tuka leave the meeting Congratulations. We we are done. <laughs> Sara. Yes, yes, na kusikia. Mm, I think watu wamesha wamebaki wachache it's like seven people ndo wamebaki but thank you very much to nutrition